AQA, A-level physics, astrophysics, just a little introduction to this. Uh, one of the optional topics that you do, and this is option A, astrophysics. Uh, it's a very popular option. Lots of physics students do this. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, not necessarily the easiest, but it, it's, as I said, it's very popular. Paper three is uh, two hours long, 32% of the A-level, pretty much the same as the other two papers. Um, you'll get lots of questions. It says on practical experiments and data analysis, uh, but then 35 marks of the 80 marks will be on the optional topic, in this case, astrophysics. So this comes up on paper three. This is a kind of summary. It's in three bits. Telescopes, uh, classification of stars, and cosmology. Uh, some of the cosmology you will have done at GCSE, stuff about uh, the Doppler effect and Hubble's law. Uh, telescopes, some of that, you know, do you remember all these ray diagrams for lenses? You know, some of that comes into it. Uh, the classification of stars, stuff about stars in the middle, you won't probably have done any of that. But anyway, it's in three bits, telescopes, classification of stars, and cosmology. I'll be doing a few videos on each of these three. Uh, I don't want to do loads and loads of videos. We'll kind of squeeze them in, but I would like to explain everything fully. If you are interested in astronomy, have a look at my Astronomy GCSE website, which covers everything I've just mentioned and, and lots, lots more. So you might enjoy looking at some of the videos. Good looking bloke there on my Astronomy GCSE website. Sorry, YouTube channel rather. <laughs> 